Welcome to UPSC Engineering Services Topper's Talk. And in today's talk, with me is Mr. Nalla Lakshmi Venkatesh. So Venkatesh has secured All India Rank 2 in Engineering Services 2022 in Electronics and Telecommunication Engineering. So first of all, congratulations, Nalla Lakshmi Venkatesh. Thank you very much. And uh, he belongs belongs to Kakinada, Andhra Pradesh. He has done his B.Tech in 2019, passing out from College of Engineering, Vishakhapatnam. His father is farmer, his mother is housewife, and his hobbies are reading novels and watching animation series and movies. He got the college placement in Veda IIT company, but he did not join. In GATE 2019, he secured All India Rank 97 and through the GATE examination, he got job in Bhava Atomic Research Center, presently working in Mumbai through the GATE 2019. So once again, congratulations and many achievements. Now my Thank first you. question to you, Mr. Uh, Nalla Lakshmi Venkates is that, how you started your preparation and it was during college or after passing out from college you started for IES? Like uh, uh, for a gate I have appeared, no sir, in 2019, I think there my technical stuff was a little bit strong. So that, that helped me a lot in this IES preparation. And uh, to be frank, like I don't know the starting point when I started this IES preparation. So because in during COVID-19, uh, like in 2020, we have locked down. So that in that time, I felt I should make my technical subjects strong. So that during that time, I started preparing those technical subjects and I got good grip in them during the lockdown. After that, uh, from August uh, in 2021, I thought of giving uh, engineering services and I started preparation for uh, prelims. For three months, I uh, took the basic, completed the basic course, like uh, just completion of the syllabus of these uh, general studies from August to, I think, near October. And then from then I started revising these subjects thoroughly. And also few subjects which are not in gate, like uh, advanced real essay. So and you, were, you were selective. You, you studied all subjects? No, sir. I studied all subjects. Yes, sir. Okay, usually students prepare for the GATE syllabus, but there are many technical subjects which are not in GATE, yes. like basic electrical, advanced communication, advanced electronics, measurement, and even uh, basic computer fundamentals. So what was your approach? You studied every subject or you focused to the GATE course and more? Like uh, for me, I was very, uh, I have a good grip on GATE subjects, sir. So that was my strong area. When coming to other subjects, I preferred uh, in YouTube, we have IIT uh, NBTL lectures for basic electrical engineering. We have Uman and Sir lectures, which helped me a lot in that electrical engineering course. And similarly for uh, electron, electronic measurement and instrumentation also, I preferred some textbooks for reading. So uh, like my first aim is to uh, cover the basic areas, not to go too deep into the subject. So that with those basics, I'll test my knowledge through test series and all. So it will say, uh, provide me a feedback whether it is sufficient for the exam or should I go even deeper into the subject. Right. Means for engineering services conventional and gate is all about multiple choice questions or numerical answer type questions. So how did you prepare for the mains examination? Like uh, basically, uh, Solved previous year questions also? Yes, sir. I have solved for uh, previous year questions and also I joined some test series, sir. So that it gave me a basic idea of uh, time management and also the various concepts which are to be covered uh, throughout the syllabus. Because in ESC, we have descriptive answers, sir, in mains. So you should be knowing the uh, skill of answer writing. That is very important and you should be completing it in a, within a time bound manner. So through test series, I learned that. Uh, okay. So test series were very helpful for the mains examination and previous year question papers. Yes, sir. Did you solve electrical question papers also? Uh, 
because some subjects are common with electronics uh yes uh, sorry sir i haven't uh, attempted electrical because i was uh, working in bars and parallelly preparing for the exam i don't have much time for looking all other papers during my free time i used to cover this electronic uh, previous papers and i used to solve them. okay so do you think that ki preparation for the mains examination uh requires more focus or it is prelims is more important which is requiring more focus like uh, in prelims we need to know the basic uh, information sir we, we not, need not go deep if we have the basic idea as it is a multiple choice uh, kind of exam even if i have the basic idea we can uh, make it out but for mains exam you should be very thorough with the concept and everything so i think these two exams are a little bit different in nature one needs a for uh, method of covering the entire subject and the other needs a deep uh, knowledge in the concept which we have did you make any short notes for the last moment revision no sir like i don't have the habit of making short notes mm. uh, generally to revise the concept so i don't have any short notes okay and what about interview when interview you prepared and appeared what's your uh, preparation different from prelims and mains or you same subjects you studied revised and practiced uh, it is little bit different sir. for interview uh, apart from the knowledge which is available in books you need to know about the current technologies in news and how the technology is growing in the world so for that you need to follow news and all and also i have appeared for this medisi interview guidance program which i have attended for mock interviews mm-hmm. so where i may not i i was not able to answer all the questions but i i learned how to manage the, the pressure and also how to answer questions in an effective manner okay and can you share some interview questions how long it continued in upsc and okay. how many Uh, how much was technical and how was how much was uh, daf based and non technical in percentage i think my interview went for around 18 to 20 minutes and uh, among this i think around 90% is technical and only 10% is uh, non technical even in technical they are more focusing on uh, satellite uh, system uh, based questions and uh, communication based questions and after that they asked me about my organization like about brc what kind of work it is involved in what problem they are facing and all so mostly the interview is more technical in nature technical and job yes. right so would you like to give any suggestion to the students for the last two months preparation strategy like i would recommend them to uh, attempt as many test series as possible sir because they need to be thorough with the subject and also test series if you are uh, going in a right way it will also give motivation to you or if you are having some mistakes it will let you know so that you can correct before the right time i think test series is the main uh, thing to focus and also some subjects like uh, for gs you need to revise a lot because there are many information to remember so revision and test series are the most important thing before all right so once again thank you very much anala lakshmi venkatesh and uh, he has secured all india rank 2 in esc 2022 and i hope this discussion will help many aspirants who are preparing for the engineering services and gate and once again congratulations thank you so much thank you very much